Hello and welcome to Mantis Hub. Today we're going to talk to you about integrating Slack chat application with Mantis Hub. And this allows you to stream your Mantis Hub project updates into your Slack channels. So the first thing you need to do within Slack is create your channels that you would like to map to Mantis Hub projects. And the second thing you need to do is to create an incoming webhook. So if you head into your settings and then go into manage apps, what we're looking for is a custom integration. And you'll find there that the incoming webhooks app. If you don't find it there, you might have to search the app directory and have that uh, installed first. So if you head into incoming webhooks, what you'll need to do is add a new configuration. And that will generate a webhook URL for you. Here's the one we've already created for our Mantis Hub integration. So if we head into the setup for the incoming webhook, uh, you need to nominate a channel. It can be any of the channels that you've created that you're going, that you intend to map to Mantis Hub projects. Um, we will do the actual one-to-one -one mapping of projects to channels within the Mantis Hub plugin. So just pick any of those channels that uh, will be used for the Mantis Hub integration. The next thing is this webhook URL that's been generated. You will need to copy this URL so you can paste it into the Mantis Hub plugin setup. You can add a descriptive la label, you can add a custom name. Uh, you can also add a custom icon which will appear in the Slack notifications. Um, that's pretty handy to allow you to know where the notifications come from. If you do want to use the Mantis Hub uh, logo, we do have that available in our KB article for you to download. And then you just click save your settings. The next step is to head into your Mantis Hub to install and configure the Slack plugin. So we just head to manage, manage plugins, and we're looking for Slack. Then we just head into our Slack application. And the first thing we need to do is paste that webhook URL that we've copied into this field. The next section is the issue fields. This is where you would select uh, what would trigger a Slack notification and also what information you would include in those notifications. So for example, if I want a notification anytime a status has changed, I would check that box. You can also include your custom fields as well in those Slack notifications. The Slack channel setting is where we actually do our one-to-one -one mapping um, for our project to Slack channels. If you've left a field blank, that means Slack notifications will not be enabled for that particular project. And then we'd click either update or update and test. If this is the first time you're setting up the integration, we strongly recommend you update and test. And this will generate a test notification into your Slack channels. So if we have a look now at our Slack app, we'll see that in our channel, there's the test notification that will have been posted to every channel that you have mapped to a Mantis Hub project. And here's a sample of a issue creation notification. You can see because I've ticked these boxes, the view status, severity, etc., that information is included in the notification. You will always uh, see the project, the category, the action, the issue ID and summary, and the description of the issue for any notification. This uh, issue ID and issue summary are hyperlinked. So you can always click on that and that will take you straight into your Mantis Hub, straight into the issue. This is super handy when you're using the mobile app as well. So you can click on those links and within the app, head to your Mantis Hub service and um, do whatever you need to do with that issue and then just head back into your Slack application. A Couple more example of the Slack notifications. Here's one where we've added a note to the issue. You can see there that the actual note uh, content is included in that notification. Uh, that's because it is a public note that was added. If you add a private note to an issue, that information will be hidden. Here's an example of an update notification. You can see that the assignment was changed as well as the status and that's triggered a notification in, and included the actual uh, update information. One last thing to note is 
the access to the Slack notifications will depend on your Slack access, not on your Mantis Hub access. So if you have a project within Mantis Hub that's mapped to a Slack channel and a user does not have access to the project but does have access to the Slack channel, then they will be able to see that notification. And that's it. If you do need some more information on the integration, feel free to head into our knowledge base and look up that um, Slack integration article. And also, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to email Mantis Hub support at support at mantishub.com. Thanks for listening.